my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? Well, this is like my third video today. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am just getting them done here. This is actually before Thanksgiving, and to tell you guys the truth, and I am wanting to get this done for my dad. So I am working like a crazy lady here trying to get the rest of my decor up. Also, I want to go ahead and get my home tour up shortly after Thanksgiving. Uh, what I'll have to do is decorate the outside and then be able to film and edit and so on my home tour to be able to get that up for you guys because I know that you guys wait for that each year and like to see it. So I've done my lantern centerpiece, I've done my hutch, and now I'm fixing to do the foyer. Look at this mess, you guys. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere and I don't have too much time to get this done. So, but this is my last video of this day. Yes, I'm a workaholic. Yes, I love to do for my family, you guys. That's my motivation. Jesus is the reason for the season and my family is second in my motivation to do, to get my decor done. Know. Sorry about that, Kristen called me. So let's see, where was I? Oh, I'm, I'm just talking about wanting to get decorated before Thanksgiving. So I know you guys are seeing this after Thanksgiving because there's no way I could get all these videos up before Thanksgiving. I'll probably be editing this, who knows, Thanksgiving day or something while we're just sitting around. Dad's watching football and the kids are sleeping and, you know, whatever. Who knows? I'll probably be sitting there editing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I like to edit, by the way. That's, that's relaxing for me to edit. So anyway, I wanted to tell you that I'm gonna be working on my little foyer, as you can see here. Oops, and my foyer is little, you guys. I just have a little tiny foyer that has two walls, as you can see. It has that wall, and then it has this, kind of this wall right here, right here. And right there's the living room, and then the dining room is over there. Now, I have a big foyer going this way, of course. You know, I have a big rug here. My goodness, sorry. I have a big rug here, you know, and I have a big area in this area, but in the foyer, let's say proper, I don't have a lot of room to work. So uh, I just wanted to pretty much show you what I've done in here though. And that is, you can see these, let me drop you down a little bit. I'm sitting on my stool. Okay, there you go. Now you can see I have these three boxes and they are the kind of boxes, this stuff falls off of these things like nobody's business. So I've got the, this little icy stuff falls off of these things like nobody's business, y'all. So I've got, excuse my little icy things around, I need to get my vacuum out here. Also, pardon all of these plugs uh, right there. I This is the thing that runs our one remote that, you know, I click one button and it turns on all of my all of my decorative lights and Chris put this here, but I had to, each box has a plug and then this little tree has a plug. So we're going to go to Lowe's tomorrow and get a flat one and we'll line it up or figure out some other co configuration for the plugs. But for right now, that's the way I need to do it. I don't wanna use utilize both of the plugs in the wall because I want them both to turn off. I want all of this to turn off with one, the click of a switch. So I just got Mr. Santa Claus sitting there and then I've just got this little lit tree sitting there that keeps getting caught on Santa's garland there. <coughs> and that's how I'm going to do this pretty much y'all. I'm not going to uh, do much else to this, to be honest, because I do have a, a, a snowman sitting over here. And he is sitting up on a candlestick. <laughs> so I just have him sitting there and that's all I'm going to do for there. I've got to take care of the wires, but you guys get the idea of, of how this looks. It looks really cute. And I'll get back and take a picture from, the, from a distance. This winter wonderland, little picture here, is not going to go here, obviously. It's right in front of the door. This is going to probably sit in here with my wrought iron table. I thought I might use it in here, but I don't want to cover up any more of this. Plus, this would just fall over and be a hot mess. So this will not go here. This will go in my living room with that grouping over there, most likely. Now we're gonna start working over here. I might have to get down on the floor, actually, 
because I kind of need to get down there to that level. Yeah. Okay. I thought I would use this down here, but in reality, this really, oh, sorry, can't even see what I'm talking about. I thought I would use this picture down here, but in reality, it goes over a wreath that I bring up and hang in the middle of the two dining room windows, and that's where I want it to go. So it goes with that wreath. So I decided I'm not going to use it over here. As you can see, I've kind of carried this and that and the other thing over just to try to give myself an idea of what I want to do, y'all. And that's the way crafting is. You know, I've kind of pulled out a bunch of stuff. I've got stuff sitting. This is the way I'm going to leave that configured up there, I think. I have the other snowman sitting on the other candlestick sitting up there. I've got a big tree that I know in another video I had mentioned that I wasn't going to do gold and pink. I changed my mind. I am going to do that. You'll see that in an upcoming video of what I used for my grandmother's hutch there. This tree <clears throat> last year sat on the top of that hutch, so I repurposed it this year and brought it over here. Excuse all my light switches. <laughs> they, we've got like six of, five of them there. I can't hide them. There they are, big as life. Uh, there, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm leaving my lamp that I always have sitting here, but I put on, I put uh, a couple of, of uh, table runners on this table. Well, actually, they're square. They're square place mats is what they are, see? So I'm going to put two up there, and I think I'm going to put just one down here on this. I don't want to have the same thing on both, both shelves, so I think I'm just going to put one down on the bottom shelf. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my blue plate out. This one, I don't want to pack it away, and it blends okay. So I'm going to leave it out, and then I have another little Christmas tree. And then I have this lantern sitting under here. And I'm going to make a bow for this lantern, just a tiered bow. Uh, I don't have anything inside of it right now. I have a candle inside of it right now that needs batteries. Whoa! <laughs> They came spurting out at me. I need four AA batteries, but I don't have any batteries over here with me right now, so we're not gonna replace the batteries, and the batteries are worn out in, in this, but just pretend that you see it on. <laughs> Put you down a little further. And we're gonna work on this bottom shelf oh here. You guys, I turned off. I don't know what happened. But anyway, there's my lantern in place. I don't know how far I got, I'm so sorry. So then I put my, my plate, and I have it pointing, all pointing this direction because you're gonna walk into the foyer, you know, from over there, and you want, I wanna be able to see everything, you know? So I thought I would put the Santa down here, but I think I'm gonna put this little snowman down here because I wanna be able to see the candle behind it, and I'm gonna put this fella, I think, up here. I don't know, I'll have to get up and look at that. But I think that whoa, is gonna be that, you guys, for this foyer. I did have this little family. They're kinda of cute. But this is more the feel of this. Maybe I'll put Mr. Santa Claus somewhere else. Alrighty. I like that. Okay, I think that's it. So let me, goodness help me, do some final words here. And moving forward, you guys, I think I will probably come back with a, uh, let me put you up here. Okie dokie, y'all. Let me talk to you here for just a second. I'm doubting that I am going to have a lot more Decorate With Me videos. I may have one more when I do my grandmother's hutch. Uh, but other than that, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. The rest of it is just setting things in place, you know? And then Chris and I are gonna get the white Christmas tree out and do that. So I think this will probably save for that, like I said, that 
hutch video will probably be my last decorate with me you know put things together video uh for this christmas until i do outside you know until i do outside but for the inside i think that'll that'll be it you know so and then i'm gonna do my home tour i'm gonna do the outside i may not do the outside with you guys i may decorate that outside and not show it until my home tour as a matter of fact i think i might do that this year just to give you guys a little bit of a surprise you know i haven't given the, you know you'll have some things that'll be a surprise because as i just said i think this will be it other than i do want to show you what i'm going to do with my grandmother's hutch you know but other than that i think i think that I'm going to leave some uh, things to, you know, to your imagination and see, you know, go ahead and show you that when I do my home tour. I think that'll be, that'll be fun. We've so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'll do. So uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in here. I know, again, I'm going to mention uh, my commenting back. I haven't had a chance. You see, I've been super busy trying to, you know, get all this complete. Uh, it is so much fun for me. I love it. I am so enthralled with this, with decorating for Christmas. I just love it. And it is almost a complete switch out. It really and truly so, is. And I've had it. But anyway, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, come back because I'll do a video, you know, what I always do, a last video, you know, around to music. But I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.